hello everyone welcome back to a new video here on let's walk around Stockholm another day another walk you know it first of all folks sorry for not uploading so much in the last week it was a bit crazy um, I got the cold and then the kids got the cold and now my son probably has an ear infection and I don't know it just did not went the way I want it um, but you know that's how it goes sometimes but I'll try to be better and um, upload again so basically life became <coughs> came in between all good all good so we are at Oudenplan station as you can see it's like rush hour in the morning so it's pretty busy everyone going to work and school and all that so um, yeah, let's make our way out and then the idea is to walk towards um, Central Station yes I was like where was it going yeah <laughs> Central Station it always feels a bit awkward to to talk to a camera with this many people around so let's go out first <coughs> everyone's always looking at me like who's the weirdo well that's me that's the weirdo <laughs> tomorrow I'm probably gonna meet up with both Olaf and Carlos so that's gonna be fun got a lot of good feedback about the last video we did together so we were like let's do that again folks funny they're trying to repair the escalator here but it seems like these escalators are always broken I don't know what the problem is but all right all right all right let's go out oh now there's less people that feels a bit better as I said before it feels so weird to talking to a camera when there's like 150 people standing at the train tracks there like around at the at the platform looking at me like it's eight o'clock in the morning why are you talking to yourself why are you holding this little device and filming us ah i don't know if they think all that but i think that's what they think i love this station though it's so beautiful <coughs> and it's very you know handy because the metro entrance is here and the train is just behind me so it's very convenient if you want to switch from one line to another one I would say it's the best one in Stockholm and it's especially good for, for a lot of people avoid Central Station because it's a bit much you know what I mean it's very busy for for Swedish standards not for international standards though but the people from Stockholm and Sweden think it's a bit chaotic um, so what they do is usually is either they change on Udenplan or they just go out and that's what I do right now it's quite surprising to see because I'm looking at the time that it takes about four minutes to even get out of the station it, because for me it feels more like it only takes 20 seconds but yeah that's because I normally don't film when I go out of the station so chat gang what's up what have you guys been doing probably watching other youtube channels while i was away <coughs> but i do the best i can i really really want to upload five days uh, five times a week that's the goal and normally that should be possible but yeah if, if people get sick and with people i mean little people my children because once they get sick, you know, I have to be with home uh, at home with them during the day, so it's a bit tricky. I don't really have anyone else to take them, so... All right, let's go out. Oh, here it's quite busy as well. So 
So let's see what's happening here on the square. This is where all the buses arrive. <coughs> There's people waiting for the bus. A little trivia question for you guys in Stockholm. What's the difference between the blue and the red buses? I've asked this once before, but it was about a year ago or so. So it's a long time ago. So yeah, question to you, to the loyal viewers and anyone. There's red and there's blue buses. What's the difference? It's quite a subtle difference. Actually, it's not like super, super obvious. So this one goes to Karolinska Institute. It's a blue bus. And this one goes to Oudenplan and it's a red bus. Right, green. So, where am I going? Let's go straight ahead here. On Nordtulsgatan. Basically, this max here is on the corner of Udengata, North Udengata. And it's a new one as well. It's recently open. I don't really actually know where I end up if I go straight ahead here. <coughs> find out soon so basically what we're doing now is walking from I want to say from from that's Swedish from um, Vasastan to Norrmalm that's what we're doing so the two different districts here in the inner city um, you know like Stockholm city for people that don't know is like divided in different areas right so you got Södermalm, Östermalm, Vasastan, uh, Norrmalm etc etc and these districts are also again divided in sometimes more informal districts like for example part of Vasastan is Siberian, Siberia so that's an area within an area right um, sometimes these areas are named after the metro station or yeah things like this depends a bit sometimes they're officially called like that and sometimes not at all oh this is interesting so this is the back of observatory lunden um, well, that's pretty cool and we're walking now to the very beginning of Drottninggatan so actually Drottninggatan starts here so this is the corner of Observatory Gatan Drottninggatan and the sun is arriving here that's very nice and here you have Observatory Luna and the park and the hill I can really recommend going up there and check out the view it's beautiful absolutely beautiful it's very cold today I think it's like minus six degrees um, I do have my mittens here in my pockets I was wearing them before but I took them out because I started inside the station and um, yeah oh I'll leave it like this but yeah I have them with me in case I get really cold. Quite nice to approach Zotningata from this side, which people usually don't do. Most tourists don't even make it this far. So this is Volksuniversitetet. The Folk University, this is basically a place where people um, 
like learn extra subject like languages or other courses and things like this so it's called universität but it's actually not you know you don't study full programs there like for example i did in this building i did a course in japanese um you know how you know how it is with languages you have these numbers like a a1 a2 things like this those are those international standards of language learning that you can do and i did my a1 of uh, japanese there which in the case of japanese is takes quite a time it takes like one year if you would do the same course in spanish you could literally do it in eight weeks but in japanese they divided it up in four different parts so a1 one two three four um, because it's so complicated because just in the first course a1 part one it's just very tricky to even learn the alphabet you know like the hiragana katakana i'm not even speaking about the kanji all these signs but just the basics is already hard enough anyways i got distracted so yeah that's what you can do at volksuniversität and they have a lot of different courses by the way these are massive wow That bird was mad. I didn't even know what it was. Will someone tell me what kind of bird that was? So now we're basically walking back from Odenplan and this is Roadmans Gatan. Um, so you could say we walked back like on the green metro line, um, which goes Odenplan, Roadmans Gatan, Hertoyet, and then Central Station, like. A bit down and central station is exactly where it's supposed to go so that's lovely it's very early still let's say it's like 8 15 in the morning I see a Portuguese flag. I don't really know why. Is this the embassy or? Why do I see the Portuguese flag here? The Queen's Head. That's a nice pub. doesn't really say oh well I do love Drottninggatan it's it's a street that has a lot of memories to me um, like on the personal level like it's I don't want to be too specific but it's basically very simple it's not that that strange like if you move to a new place and you wanna I still remember this very clearly you know it's 2007 I'm here in Sweden um, I moved to a new country and the first place you end up when you move to a place you take the train downtown and I remember it very clearly it was all by myself it was April 2007 you know I didn't speak Swedish it felt like an adventure and I remember I was roaming these streets like here in Stockholm and I was remember so clearly that I was walking here just a bit further down and I was like oh my god I really moved to a new country a new place adventure I cannot believe I just did this I mean at that time I don't think I, I realized I was gonna live here like forever but um, I remember when I walked on Drottninggatan I really fell in love with the city because I was thinking oh this is such a like a civilized place or and it was it felt very alive to me 
it was like the beginning of spring and everyone was happy and nice and there were street artists and there was music and I was like yeah I think I'm gonna like it here well apparently I did because 15 years later I'm still here which is pretty crazy I can't believe I lived in Sweden for 15 years that's a long time people I mean it's gonna be there's gonna be a time where I've lived here longer than I have in the Netherlands where I grew up which is a very weird realization so when you live in a different place longer than your own place <coughs> but um, you know it actually already feels a bit like that anyway but still because even before I moved to Sweden I, I lived in, in different places in the world um, like I used to live in Australia and the same thing New Zealand um, and then even before that I traveled extensively to all corners of the world um, yeah I had a few years of my life where I basically was traveling non-stop even or when I still lived in Sweden so the first years of Sweden I was actually here but I wasn't here that much both for work and for fun it's usually the same thing with me anyway work and fun I don't really like to see it like that this is Central Baldet if you're lucky enough like me then your work is actually fun I know not everyone has that luxurious position as me or your own boss and basically do as you please which is a great feeling Olof Palmes Gata The man, the myth, the legend Olof Palme I don't get more central Stockholm than this This looks nice here with those almost angel like figures. Famous Dotning Alton Lions. So we are on our way to Central Station, it's just a few hundred meters that way. Perfect little walk to get the week started, yes! So yeah, as I said before, now we've got her toilet over there. Oh, now I'm starting to feel a bit cold, so it's perfect. As I said, it was minus six this morning, so a bit chilly. Go home, work a bit on my computer. Also get this video up, of course, at the background, or we're answering some emails. Like that, that did not used to be possible on my old laptop. Um, thanks to you guys, the people that supported me on my Kofi page. If you don't know what it is, Kofi is like a way of 
showing um, support to like YouTubers and things like this. So it's basically um, I'm donating a digital coffee, which is like three dollars. Anyways, um, so thanks for that. I had the opportunity to buy a new laptop last year, which means not just that the videos export much faster, but also that I actually can do some work while I'm editing the videos at the same time. Because with my old laptop, my whole computer froze. So I couldn't do anything else, not even opening emails, nothing. So once the editing program was exporting or whatever, uh-uh. But now I can do those things at the same time, which saves me so much time. Because it was basically, it basically meant that my computer was occupied all the freaking time. Because I upload videos every day and the process takes hours, so. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So thanks again, people, for the support. Which brings me to, there was actually one person last year that donated $500 to me. That was insane. I know that person doesn't want to, you know. That's, that's even more amazing that you actually give the money and you don't want anything in return or even like a shout out or mentioning his name or whatever. So yeah, beautiful gesture. So we're almost here. I'm gonna go down here into the train station, just crossing the section here, wait. Oh, perfect, 22 minute video. From Oudenplan to Stockholm Central Station. Yes. Oh, I feel the warrant here from the stores. Nice, 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 nice. Alrighty folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I give you a thumbs up. Bye bye.